guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Obviously, my fatty self decided to eat before filming. And as you can see, I have a little bit of lipstick right here, some food on my lips. Um, that's just life. Yeah, it goes away in a couple minutes, I promise. So don't let that stop you from watching this video. Sorry, I'm such a barbarian. Welcome to my favorite series. So for my last segment in my favorites of 2018, I'm going to be doing my favorite lip products of 2018. This was so tough for me. You guys have no idea. But anyways, I'm just going to show you my favorite lip products of 2018. Typically, I tend to stick with warmer nudes. I really like a warm nude shade with a brown lip liner. So all these are kind of the same. I'm sorry. I can't really swatch for you guys I don't have time I'm leaving for the airport in a couple hours and I haven't even packed normally I would totally swatch these for you guys so you can really see what the colors look like but Maybe next year I'll do better. Lip liners. I have three liners that have kind of stuck with me. They're all kind of the same color. So the first one is the MAC Lip Pencil in Whirl. This is just a brown mauve shade. Really beautiful. And then also Cork. This is a deeper brown shade. So depending on the lip color that I'm going for, if it's a lighter lip color, I'll tend to use Whirl. And then if it's a darker lip color, I will use Cork. MAC lip liners are one of my favorite formulas. They're not too too soft. I hate the Kylie lip pencils. Those are too soft. These are the perfect consistency. Um, also, the Pat McGrath Labs Perma Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade Contour. This is my everyday lip pencil. I need to buy something with a little bit more rose tones to it, but this is a beautiful formula. This is actually a soft lip pencil, but it's like it stays. I don't like the Kylie's because I feel like it bleeds. This is a soft lip formula that I can still get my lips very precise, but it lasts a long, long time. So this is an amazing lip pencil formula. Probably my favorite lip pencil formula. But yeah, these three have been my right-hand mans. <laughs> oh man, I hate that. Took you long enough, girlfriend. Next, we have lipsticks. The majority of them are kind of the same shade, but the first one is from Flower Beauty, so this is an affordable brand, and this is in the shade Peachy Nude, and it's exactly as stated, Peachy Nude, when I want a really light peachy nude lip. This is the lip I go for, and this formula from the drugstore is so good. This is as good as a luxury lipstick. Okay, maybe not that good, but it's pretty dang good. If you're looking for a good lipstick formula from the drugstore, try Flower Beauty. They also have an amazing range of nudes, but Peachy Nude is my personal favorite. Okay, so next, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I'm obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. She has one of the best formulas, but there were two that really stood out to me this year. I have like her whole range of lipsticks, but these two are my go-tos. Like I throw them on without thinking. So the first one, I'll swatch them side by side so you can see the difference, is Nude Kate. Now this is like my go-to when I want a really light nude lip. And then when I want a deeper nude lip, I go for Pepper and Honey. I was so into the nude this year and you will see that but you see this is nude kate and this is hepburn honey gorgeous gorgeous lip colors they're my go-to's they're the best formula the kissing formula so soft on the lips so moisturizing it has a little bit of shine also the fenty beauty one of their lip shades in the shade freckle fiesta i really liked this because i really felt like this was a different kind of color it's like a red orange with a little bit of a mustard undertone i just don't have a color like this in my collection. And I just love the way it looks on me. This lip color is so unique. It's so pretty and I like the formula. I don't really like the packaging of the lipsticks. I think the shape of it is a little bit difficult to apply on my lips. Like I need a lip brush with it. But other than that, I love that lipstick and the color is spot on. So this was another one of my favorite nudes this year. This is the Hourglass lipstick in the shade I'll Never Stop. It's one of those with the funky packaging. You have to pay extra for the packaging but I like it because I feel super cool with this super skinny lipstick and you don't get a lot of product either and you're paying a lot of money. Total scam, total scam. But I do legitimately love this nude shade. This is what I would describe as the perfect nude. I'm just gonna say it. This is my perfect nude. It's so flattering on so many different skin tones and it's just where it's at, you know? And the formula is beautiful. It's up there, you know, with Charlotte Tilbury's formula. The next lipstick is from the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid collection. This is the shade Torah. Now, I don't love the Maybelline lipstick formula, this, but this is my favorite cool toned lipstick. Whenever I would have like a really crazy eye and it was like a cool toned look, 
and I really needed like almost like a cool tone gray lip, this is what I would go for. This reminds me of like concrete, but in a pretty nude way. <laughs> but that was like my go-to cool toned nude for the year. And then my last lipstick thing is the Bobbi Brown Art Stick in Rose Brown. This is my everyday mauve shade that I was obsessed with. So my go-to lip color was a rose mauve. And this was the perfect like epitome of it. This is me in a color right here. This is what I wore all the time. Liquid lipsticks. I'm just going to start off with one of my faves. Well, these are all my faves. But like this was a, one of the faves of the faves. This is the Pat McGrath liquid lipstick in the shade obsessed basically like a liquid lipstick form of the lip that i just showed you so when i want a liquid lipstick of a mauve this is it i love this this is a great formula i like liquid lipsticks when i really want a defined lip yeah this is just the perfect color this is my favorite color of this year also a very similar color to that this has been my favorite for the past literal three years and i just need to talk about it kind of the same as the other two that's why it's one of my favorites it's this one over here. This is Lolita by Kat Von D. Like I said, this has been my favorite lip color for literally three years. I cannot get enough of this color for some reason and it still was one of my most used. Also, when I wanted a more nudie color, I really did like Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. Her brand's been not that good lately. But this is like my favorite light brown nude, honestly. And I love the formula of her liquid lipsticks. I know they're pretty popular, but people have forgotten like how good her formula is. And yeah, her brand's kind of been a dud lately, but that one's really good. So this goes to best lipstick formula of the year award. Not necessarily this color, but this formula I'm so in love with. And this is the Girlactic Lip Paint. Is that what it's called? Girlactic Matte Lip Paint. I got this in a boxy charm. This is in the shade Posh. But this is the best lipstick formula I think I've ever tried. It's not drying and it can layer well. And that's all I ask for in a liquid lip. So props to you, Galactic. You created the best liquid lipstick. <laughs> and then the next liquid lipstick, this is the last one actually. This is the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Mary Jo K. This is my favorite blue red. Um, it's my go-to red for the holidays. I love this lip color. Now I don't really love her liquid lipstick formula. I have a ton of her liquid lipsticks. But I don't love her formula there. I don't like the way it layers, it cakes up and flakes and it's disgusting. But I love her colors. So I put up with her formula because I love her colors. Like Mary Jo K has been my favorite ever since I got her. My favorite red. So lip glosses. I have three. I kind of stuck in the same family. So the first one is the Fenty Gloss Bomb and Fenty Glow. Everybody loves it. It's such a great formula. And this goes over my favorite everyday lipsticks. It goes with so many lipsticks, but I really like, you know, those rose browns and this, you can't get a better color to put over rose browns. So this bomb, the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. I have all of the nudes of this gloss and I love all of them. This one I just happen to reach for the most. But yeah, this is a really good formula to keep in your purse because one, it's affordable and two, it's a really good formula. Like, it's one of those things you want to keep them in your purse because if you lose them, it's not that big of a deal. Just pick another one up and it, it's just good. So last one, this is the Pat McGrath lip gloss in Dare to Bear. This is such a beautiful bear peach lip gloss. I love the formula of this. It's not sticky. It's pretty long wearing. I like the way it makes my lips look so luscious and juicy because I don't got the biggest lips, but this not wearing it but this lip gloss is bomb like look into her lip glosses because she has really pretty colors that's the only color i have and i need to pick up more because i love pat mcgrath as you guys know and i love that lip gloss anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my favorite lip products of 2018 they tend to stick in a warmer nude kind of color or a mauve rose color those were my go-to colors this year so i hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to my channel like this video and i will see you guys in the next video Bye, have a great day.